Amid bitter political partisanship, analysts say far-right groups in the U.S. are emboldened and the risk of violence has increased. The harsh divide is on display in Texas, where groups celebrating LGBTQ rights have been met with strident opposition. Stay in your fucking car! The anti-LGBTQ group Protect Texas Kids recently organized a protest outside of a Methodist church where an all-ages pride event was taking place. Several right-wing protesters screamed at attendees, accusing them of being pedophiles. You like to play with little boys, man? Huh? You do, don't you? That's why you got a little smile, you pathetic fool. Protect Texas Kids founder Kelly Neidert organized the protest. Because we don't believe that these events can be kid-friendly. They are inherently sexual. And when there's events like this and they claim that there's not going to be a drag show inside, well, it's still a pride event and they're celebrating their sexual preferences. So how can that be appropriate for kids? One common and baseless accusation hurled by such far-right activists is that events and organizations celebrating gay and trans rights are, quote, grooming children. Here's anti-gay protester Dan Chandler. They're inviting children to take part in these pride events. They're grooming children for homosexuality and for death. You've seen groups like Proud Boys, for example, show up and threaten individuals who are part of these out groups. John Lewis, a research fellow at George Washington University's Program on Extremism, told Reuters such accusations from right-wing extremists are meant to demonize and threaten the LGBTQ community. This, this kind of conflation of, you know, an individual's, uh, you know, perception of themselves or, or how they view themselves with, you know, pedophilia or, or grooming of children. And what, what's really important to, to kind of lay out very clearly here is that the, these conspiracy theories are, you know, inherently white supremacist, inherently anti-Semitic, and, you know, designed to dehumanize these outgroups. The anti-gay and anti-trans rights movement is gaining steam and support from many Republicans across the U.S. The Human Rights Campaign, the largest LGBTQ advocacy in the United States, says more than 300 anti-LGBTQ bills have been introduced in states across the country. Republicans such as Governors Greg Abbott of Texas and Ron DeSantis of Florida have put what they call parental rights at the center of their November re-election bids, part of promises to keep sexual and gender identity subjects and books out of schools, and threatening to penalize teachers who discuss them. Lewis suggests the political moves encourage anti-LGBTQ activists in places such as Texas to be more vocal and more threatening. You do see more of this emerge in spaces in which state and local leaders have emboldened local and regional individuals who feel comfortable, who feel safe, who feel secure, engaging in this kind of threatening, harassing, intimidation, because they think there won't be repercussions for it.